For almost six years, I've been using BenQ monitors for my professional photography work, so when they reached out and asked me to test out their latest 27-inch monitor, I was happy to do it. This is the BenQ 272U, a 4K monitor that has quickly become my favorite monitor and one that I recommend pro photographers consider in the new year. There are many videos available on YouTube that go over the specs, so I won't be doing that today. Instead, I'll go over some of my favorite features that make this my professional monitor of choice. For starters, the anti-reflection panel on this monitor is awesome. You can see here that the light that I'm using is causing this bright glare on my MacBook screen, making it nearly impossible to see anything in that area. Looking at the screen on the SW272U, you'll notice that the matted panel doesn't have nearly as strong of a reflection. The viewing angles on this monitor are also excellent, which is great when you have more than one person looking at this monitor from different sides. Also, unlike standard LCD monitors, it comes with this hood that really comes in handy when I'm spending a few hours in front of Photoshop trying to get my images looking their best. Speaking of great looking images, BenQ has what they call AQ color, which means that this monitor covers 99% Adobe RGB, 100% sRGB, and 99% DCI P3 color gamuts. It's also accredited with Kalman Verified, Pantone Validated, and Pantone Skin Tone Validated certifications. Bottom line here is that the colors not only look beautiful, but they're accurate, ensuring that what I'm seeing on this monitor is what I intend for my images to look like when I put them out into the world. On the hood, there's a small slot where you could feed through your color calibration tool of choice, and I personally recommend doing this every 30 to 60 days at a minimum to make sure that everything is looking great or before you get ready to edit that next big client photo shoot. Paired up with my MacBook, I could use it in the vertical or horizontal orientations, depending on whatever the situation calls for. The base of the monitor has this really nice leatherette material that breaks up the industrial look, and it's pretty easy to adjust the height and orientation of the monitor without too much effort. Now, when it comes to connectivity, it has two HDMI version 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort version 1.4, one USB-C with 90 watt power delivery, one USB Type-B upstream, and one USB 3.1 downstream port. Personally, I'm just using the USB-C port, which is really convenient since I don't have to use my power brick for my MacBook to run it. This monitor also comes with the Hotkey Puck G3, which is a wireless controller that allows you to make adjustments to all of the settings on this monitor. My older BenQ monitors had a wired one that I wasn't a huge fan of, but this one being wireless is perfect and it doesn't require me to add any additional cables to my setup. I've been using this monitor for my tether station for the last four months and am planning to buy a second monitor to use at my home office. I know that many of you have asked me about the monitors that I use for my professional studio work and now you know what I've been using lately. Let me know if you have any questions about this monitor and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. Thanks for watching.